Today we're going to talk about sniper rifles in Finland during World War II. The Finns lacked the bitter World War I experience of fighting an enemy with well-equipped snipers. Not even the Finnish volunteers who had fought in the Prussian Jaeger Battalion in World War I seemed to have any experience with snipers or sniping and the Finnish Civil War fought in 1918 was fought without snipers on either side. The Finnish military's interest for a scoped sniper rifle began in 1927 with the Finnish Defense Ministry founding a committee to investigate optical sites for rifles and machine guns. The committee tested eight rifle scopes and found six of them to be totally unsuitable for the purpose. Only the CP Gores and the Seiss were deemed adequate and the committee ended up recommending the size model. The suggested package was a rifle with a Zeiss scope, a ruggedized version of a German scope mount and an extended bent bolt handle and removable cheek rest. But the Finnish military decided to wait for the new M27 infantry rifle that was coming into production. This postponed the development of a sniper rifle for the army until 1931. The Finnish Civil Guard, a remnant of the Finnish Civil War, became interested in scoped rifles about the same time as the army did. The development program started with pairing a number of scopes to Japanese rifles, left over from the Civil War. This was because the quality of available 7.62x54 ammunition was considered too poor for sniping, since stocks were mostly made up of World War I era surplus ammunition. The results were not that good, and since the Japanese rifles were being phased out of civil guard service, the project was scrapped. In 1929, the development continued with the new M28 rifles. Funding for 700 scoped sniper rifles had been suggested in the annual budget a year earlier, but only 11 M28 snipers were actually acquired. As a side note, if the Civil Guard would have acquired the suggested 700 rifles, at that time it probably would have changed the history of Finnish military sniping. The M28 sniper rifles were tested with a lot of different optics. Eight, in fact. After testing the M28 with various scopes, the decision was made to go with the Bush Visar No. 5 with a 45 times magnification. The scope mount was still not ideal, so its development continued and a decision about acquiring the scopes was not made until early 1931. By that time, Zeiss had also continued developing their own scopes, and the Civil Guard ended up changing its mind and instead acquiring the new Zeiss model. But as the new M2830 rifle was soon to be introduced, the scopes were not installed on the M28 rifles but instead on the new M2830 rifles. It took until 1933 before the order of 25 scopes and 25 scope mounts were completed. The M33, as it became known, were tested until late 1934, but because the Finnish army regained its interest and restarted testing of rifle scopes in 1935, the Civil Guard again decided to wait for its results. The M33 also had its own special curved 5 round cartridge clip, which could be used regardless of what scope was installed. These were pretty cool, but only a few of them were ever made. But just like the 11 M28s, the 25 M33s would go on to serve in frontline units. Back to the army. The sniper program for the Finnish army had stopped in 1931, in anticipation of the M27 rifle. Testing resumed in 1935, but somehow the army managed to throw out the playbook and continue development in a completely reverse order. Instead of first selecting a scope and then a rifle, the program morphed into an optics development project. The Finnish army decided that they wanted a universal optical site for use with both snipers and machine guns. They only gave some limitations on dimensions and offered the contract to a domestic optics manufacturer, Osake Yhtiö Physica AB, which designed the scope. Physica produced the 3x24 prismatic, perhaps one of the worst optics ever designed. 
The optic was okayed when it was paired with a machine gun, but it was absolutely awful for a marksman. The prismatic was a box shape and it weighed about 800 grams, that's the same as three PU scopes. And designing a scope mount for the M27 rifle was a complete failure. It wasn't possible to mount it on top of the receiver because the height over bore ruined the shooter's cheek weld. So the solution was to mount the scope offset to the left side of the rifle. Because it was mounted off center, the rifle uh, stock needed to be equipped with a large cheek rest to offset the shooter's face. If this wasn't enough, the Prismatic also had an incredibly short eye relief of only 40 millimeters, which is about half of a regular scope, which resulted in many black eyes for the shooters. No matter, the project went ahead. By December of 1937, the design of the scopes and the mounts had been completed, and the Ordnance Department ordered 250 Prismatic scopes. From these 250 scopes, 150 were intended as rifle scopes, while 100 were reserved for Maxim machine guns. But they would end up being used in the M39PH sniper rifles, we'll get to them later. The Finnish snipers only received a handful during the Winter War, and these wouldn't come along in greater numbers until the Continuation War. In 1943, the Finnish Army HQ noticed that almost all captured Soviet sniper rifles were being smuggled home as war trophies and desperately tried to stop the disappearances of captured optics. But this had limited results and only a small number of captured scopes were turned in. Some scopes originally from damaged or captured uh, M91-30 sniper rifles were installed on M39 rifles around 1943-44 to 44 by weapons repair personnel. This combination of the newer Finnish M39 Mosin and captured Soviet optics was named M39 SOV. The total number of M39 SOVs were under 200, although one source claims that their total number was about 300. In 1951, the Finnish military still had 122 of the M39 SOV sniper rifles and they remained in storage until the 1970s. 100 of the Physica Prismatics had been intended to be used in machine guns, but in January of 1943 the Ordnance Department found out that the scopes had not been issued with machine guns and they were still sitting in storage. A rapid decision was made to mount these to M39 rifles. The new combination was named M39PH. This new sniper rifle shared all the problems of the earlier M27PH. Most of the M39PH snipers were delivered in 1943. During the continuation war, poor durability of the M27s led to more physical scopes being removed from broken or worn out M27s and instead being installed on M39 rifles. Combat losses for the M39PH were quite small and in 1951 there were still 193 of these rifles in inventory. The M39 remained in use with the Finnish Armed Forces until the 1970s and remained mothballed in the Finnish Army Reserves until the 1980s. By the continuation war, it became clear that the physical scopes were a failure. Since Finland lacked capacity for large-scale manufacturing of rifle scopes, they started buying scopes from Germany. In December of 1942, the Finnish Army HQ ordered 2,000 AJAC 4x38 scopes from the German firm A Jack and Roll. But before the deliveries started in March of 1943, the Germans cancelled the order because they needed all the optics they could get. In the summer of 1943, the German OKW finally gave permission for the Finnish to buy 500 rifle scopes, which A. Jack and Roll delivered in four batches in the winter of 43 to 44. These scopes were renamed the M43 rifle scope. About 300 sniper rifles of this type were assembled by combining the M39 with the Ajax scopes, before the end of the continuation war. 
the M3943 proved to be the best of all sniper rifles used by the Finnish army in World War II. After the war, they remained in training use and were later mothballed in the early 1980s. Because Ajax had failed to deliver the first order, the Finnish army started looking for another source for optics. The professor Yurja Väisela, who was one of the leading Finnish experts in optics, developed a domestic rifle scope that was based on the Ajax 4x38. The idea was to develop a rifle scope suitable for domestic production. That could be used with the scope mount already in manufacture for the Ajax. It's uncertain if these scopes saw any combat use. Sources disagree, but it's quite possible that 20 of them were issued before the end of the Continuation War. In either case, the ending of the Continuation War in September of 44 led to the first batch of the also being the last. Some of these scopes were installed to the M39 and this combination was named the M3944. In 1951, the Finnish military had 13 M3944s in storage. The M44 rifle scopes were in use until the 1970s and remained in storage until the late 80s. If you want to know more about snipers in Finland or read about the training of them, or if you're a collector and want to know more about the guns, check out jaegerplatoon.net. They have some great stuff on there. That's it for today. Thank you very much.